so it's week 13 and it's Tuesday today and today we're going to get on with our flooring. So we've got this vinyl flooring, it's like a nice grey colour that we're going to cut to size and then spray adhesive it down. Harry's family friend donated this to us so we got this for free with the adhesive but we found um, a really similar one on Amazon which we're going to link for you just in case you want something similar. But let's do it. Set. you're welcome. Oh Nick. What? Your pants are huge. Oh my <laughs> so before installing the vinyl floor, we swept and hoovered our minibus floor. Then we brought in the vinyl piece we had, laid it down and discussed our next plan of action. Yeah, I guess a little bit of this. Do you reckon, or do you reckon we have it this way and do the extras on this side? We cut off the excess at the end with a pair of scissors, then I started cutting around the difficult areas which needed more attention. We used this tack glue to adhesive the vinyl to the floor and used our hands and a rolling pin to make sure the vinyl was as flat as possible. Yo guys, what's going on? So it's Wednesday today and so far today we've put in these two shelves right here which we used a 9mm ply for. So all we did is we just measured the area we were filling. Mickey on a measuring mission. Stenciled it out onto our 9mm ply and then cut it using our jig. Uh, we sanded the edges and fit them both in. They're a bit rough but they're going to be covered anyway with boxes so it should be okay. And now we're going on to finishing the front of our bed frame. So what we're going to have here and here we've decided is we're going to use some of our leftover tongue and groove cladding from Wix. So we're going to measure out this side with our cladding, um, fit it all in and then measure out exactly where we're going to want our control panel and our USBs to come through, stencil that out, take it back down and put it back up with the right holes cut inside it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, pretty easy. We're just going to get on with all that now. Okay, so we're putting this plank of wood at the bottom just as like a lip so when we have boxes in here they won't like fall out because there's a lip here so we literally Harry's just screwing them into our framework of our bed in four different places and that Is should that be good tight? so then we started with cladding the right side of our bed one piece at a time We screwed them into place using some 12mm long spac screws. To get all the cladding pieces to line up at the end, Nikki used a pencil to draw a line behind the cladding, which was up against the timber strap. Then Harry used a jigsaw to cut the cladding up. Bit wonky. How? <laughs> How? There? Baby, it's up to you. You're the one with the drill in your hands. Wow. Riding bikes along the beach squeaking. So with this top piece of cladding, when we put it in, I'll show you like this. It's over it's overhanging the top, so it makes this weird curve. So I've measured where we should cut it so that it just hangs underneath this lip and then on top of this lip we're going to put like a nice bit of timber just like we did with the bottom piece just so it all looks nice and smart. So Harry's going to cut that now aren't you? I am indeed. <laughs> I can't wait. Yay! Woo! Whoa, perfect. That was some good measuring by me. <laughs> good cutting by you. We then proceeded to clad the left side of the bed. So now we've got the cladding on the sides of our bed, we need to mark out where we're going to put our control panels. So here we've decided to put our MP40 solar meter, it's going to go like that. Um, we've done it as a circle because as you can see on the back of this, it is also a circle. <laughs> this is the switch for our, our inverter, we're going to put that there. So we've just drawn around it, I don't know if you can see. 
And then on this side we've just got our USB and our light switch, so it's just going to go there and there. And we've got a USB for the other side, so that's what we're going to do now. I go cut cut. Thank you, be careful. Out of your dirty. Make sure you do it really well. Oh baby, shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> So we got a drill set from Tool Station, and we're just making the holes now for our light switch and our USB sockets. So the drill set that we're using from Tool Station has I think 10 pieces in or something like that. We're using the smallest one for our light switch, and then we are going to use our third smallest I think second. for our USB, second smallest for our USB. So we're just <laughs> going to do that now. Okay, cool. Cool. Kind of shunt there. So now, in an ideal world, our USB socket should fit into there like that. Yay! And our light switch should <laughs> hopefully yeah. somewhat fit into there like that. That's pretty good. Here we go. Then we made sure our control panel components fit in the holes we just made for them. Under the sun together these days, let's make them last forever. With a larger drill hole, we then made a hole at the bottom of the left side of the cladding so that our plug for our fridge would come through and plug straight into our inverter. The wires will be hidden under the benches that are yet to be installed. Right, so now we've got the holes in, I'm just going to sand the sides of these so that it's all like a straight line because right now it's a bit higgledy. But um, once I've sanded this down, then I can start priming and painting this and Harry's going to wood stain these shelves. So yeah. Make them last forever These days These days Let's hope they last forever So this is our primer coat, the first coat of paint and the second coat of paint. We use this no-nonsense primer as well as this brilliant white fast-drying satin paint from Leyland. We found this was so much easier to use and less messy than the deluxe satin wood paint we used for all our wall cladding. Again, we've made product PDFs for all the things used in this video, which is linked in the description below. Then Harry would stain the shells using our Ron Seal Natural Oak wood stain. Hi guys, so it's Friday today, and today we're finishing off wood staining our plank for the top and the bottom of our bed. Um, and we're also going to wood stain our partition wall, the top part of it, the shelf we've got. And then we're going to fit in all of our electronics into the holes we made yesterday into the wall and see how they all shape up. So here's Nikki wood staining the shelf we have on our partition wall with the same wood stain we used earlier. Then we proceeded to secure the timber wood stain strut to the top of the fixed bed. You just need to make sure it's like level. We screwed it in, in four different places using some 25mm long spack screws. Then we secure the control panel components back into place. We finally secured the second wood stained timber strut to the bottom of the shelving area, which allowed the vinyl flooring to flow seamlessly under the bed. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day like day by So that is all for this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe because we're so close to our 1,000 subscriber goal now. We're just like 50 or so off. So if you just hit that subscribe button, that would be amazing. Next week, we're gonna move on to doing our kitchen units. We've taken quite a lot of inspiration from Callum and Tash. So make sure you guys go check them out. They've just done their kitchen units. So we're gonna be copying a bit of what they do. Their link to their YouTube channel will be in the description below. So go and check them out. Also, if you guys have any questions on anything we've done in any of our videos up to now, feel free to message us on Instagram at the Vambitious Project. But that is all for this week, and we will see you guys next week. On treats, come on then. Treats. Off, 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 come on. Off, just jump it. Don't try to take the step, just jump. <laughs> off, <gasps> off. Good boy, good boy good come boy. on. Off, 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 off. Oh no. Go, good boy. <laughs> off. Good oh, boy. Good You're such boy. A good boy. Good boy. You're such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back down and put it back up with the right holes cut inside it.
can't see much. Yeah. It's so close, isn't it? It's not close to you. Okay, so... <laughs> We're chilling. I'm kind of winning. Woo. I want to get to low oh, yeah. It's not my pants. <laughs> Staring contest, go. You just blinked at the same time as me. You blinked before me, that's why I blinked. 